Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to show you a quote unquote sketchbook tour. I don't really use a sketchbook, but I have my art collection today. And at the end of the video, I'm going to flick through um, the folder that I put them in. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. All these artworks were made last year from January to December. This year was really tough for everyone, but I learned so much and I came such a long way with my artistic journey. There were a lot of experimentations and a lot of days where I just couldn't draw and paint and you'll see that as the video progresses. I really liked my style at a certain point and then it changes and yeah there's just different periods of times where it was rough <laughs> but then it got better and I'm still learning like I learned so much during this year. Most of the drawings are BTS, not all of them, but the BTS on era was definitely where I started to become more consistent. I really enjoyed that song and it really like set the year for me, which was good. <laughs> Yay. Due to being in isolation, lockdown, etc. because of the pandemic, um, I've had more time to draw and my goal for 2020 was to get better. Yes, at the start of the year, my goal was to get better, but on Instagram last year, I found so many talented artists and I really, really enjoyed their works. And I love to see how they translated an image into a painting. So that's when I decided to start finding images that I really enjoyed that would look good as a painting. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah. I really liked my style um, when I first started creating gouache paintings but slowly it changed and I really don't know how to get back to it because I really enjoyed how all the paintings turned out before um but yeah I'm still working on my style I'm still not happy with it um and there's a long way to go not gonna lie over time um gouache paintings really stressed me out and I would get so anxious to start one because there was so much pressure that it had to be good and it was really hard like gouache is not easy and it takes so long to create one painting and if I mess up that painting like my time is just wasted you know gouache is stressful man At the beginning of the year, I restricted myself from using bigger paper because I really wanted to have my A5 sketchbook but as you can see, I started to work in a bigger form because I found it easier to sketch really and add details, the details that I like but I think having that restriction of it being small um, made it more stylized which I want to go back to so I might try doing that for 2021 this year and i think i might start looking at a color palette because i don't have a running color palette and i really want my art to be consistent um, like it did at the beginning of my gouache journey in the beginning of when i started creating gouache paintings i did have a color palette of skin tones that i created which i used and yeah i'm gonna go back to that i really need to go back to that The next few paintings that are not like BTS related were for my uni. They're not actually in order of like the year that I created them in. I just like to have them at the end of all the BTS paintings to separate them. And I also added like unfinished drawings that I haven't got around to painting. Not gonna lie, I don't know if I will paint them, but they're just there. gonna show you my folder i'm not gonna speak throughout this i'm gonna add music and i hope you can enjoy it 
I didn't put this at the beginning of the video because of all the glare um, that reflected so yeah I hope they're not too annoying. so much for watching my video and yeah see you guys later bye